I'm Stuart Brazel and you're watching Dance Junkies TV. We have a very special Ask the Pro for you today. I'm joined by the beautiful Emma Slater. Hello. Say hello. hello. I'm great. We're so excited to have you. Oh good. I'm really glad. Yay. Okay. And you guys might not be able to see but she has on some sexy leather pants so I think Ooh. Sasha is doing okay. <laughs> <laughs> so as always be sure to subscribe to our YouTube, follow us on Twitter at Dance Junkies TV. And if you're watching this video, like it because we're cool. Okay, <laughs> so break it down for me. How has it been being part of the Dancing with the Stars troupe? So far, it's been amazing. Uh, my first season was last season, mm -hmm. and I was amazed that they, they asked me and said we'd love for you to be a part of the troupe, and it was a really, really great experience. And everybody was like fab and so polite and so nice to me. Um, and the dancing, I, I, I can't say enough about how much I enjoyed working with the crew and the uh, production team, it was brilliant. And to be on national TV like every week is, is pretty good fun. Like, but it's, it's not so bad. It's not, it's not a hard life. <laughs> so how did you get into dance? Um, actually when, I couldn't keep still when I was a kid at all, so my parents would try and tie me out and do everything they could, I, I was entered into all these kind of extracurriculum activities and everything. And then I watched a demonstration, um, a Latin and Borum demonstration, and it was actually by my best friend, who, who turned out to be my best friend. And um, I was sort of like telling my parents, I'm, I have to do this dance style. Yes, yes, I, I wanted to I be the that. girl. She did like the splits in the Paso, and it was the coolest thing ever for me to watch. I How loved old it. were you? Actually, I was about nine. Like I was quite l late. What I consider late um, in in terms of you know being a kid and starting dancing. I'd done ballet when I was like four. Um, me and my sister both went, but we found it kind of a little bit strict and restricting. Oh, it's so rigid. Especially at that age, you just want to run around and like paint the, the walls. The high bun says it all. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So I started ballroom dancing when I was nine, um, or maybe just ten, and it was a, the, my favourite thing ever since. I never did anything else. And you really love Latin, right? That's your that's mm -hmm. your deal. Yeah, I won the British uh, Latin Championships and the UK Latin Championships, and I did ten dance too, but. Latin for me is more flavor, more passion, and it, it, she likes to work the it, hips. <laughs> it spoke more to me. Like I, I loved the the sex appeal. That's and, really well. And then you won. Elena Grenenko, our ballroom expert, was saying that you won the Black Pool, which is a big yeah. deal. Mm -hmm. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Um, yeah, I was with my partner Ben Hardwick. I think I was around about seventeen, and. Um, we were doing the Close British, which is held at Blackpool. It's an amazing, amazing um, venue called the Winter Gardens. It's stunning. It's like iconic ballroom, grand opera. Um, it's really beautiful. And um, we won the yeah, Youth Latin, and it was amazing. Really, really great day. I remember it very well. So you always knew that ballroom dancing, that was what you wanted to do for your career. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It got to the stage where um, I was doing a lot of theatre work, like I, I kind of wanted to be an actress at one point, um, up until about 12 when the Latin just took over so much that there was nothing there was nothing else I could do and by the time I got to 16 and um, I was looking at colleges to go to, I had a lot of offers to go and do Latin stuff in the theatre and um, on TV and I couldn't, I just couldn't turn it down. So every time I would then think about maybe I should go to college my uh, the love of dancing took over. And you can always go to college. Exactly. You know, I'm gonna I'm gonna go and enroll in one of those online things and study maybe nutrition, maybe something else. But for now, I couldn't do anything other than dancing. And you have to talk to me about Mamma Mia because I'm obsessed with Meryl Streep. Oh, she's amazing. Oh my goodness, <laughs> she was amazing. And um, I have to tell you, I. Went for the audition on the Friday. This Were is, you like so nervous? I would have Did you know going to the audition who the cast was? No, this is what I'm going to tell you. Because I went for the um, Mamma Mia, the film audition on, on um, like Friday. And I went with a load of group of people and had a really good time, but was in another job. So I don't really, I was quite young. Like I didn't really know what was going on. I was like, yeah. And then my agent called me the next day, which which she doesn't even work on Saturdays, but she was like, you've got it, you've got it. You're going to be in Mommy the movie. And I, was, and I screamed down the phone and when it hit me like, oh my God, I'm going to do a movie. 
um, had no idea who was in it and then turned up I turned up to work on the Monday and there was there was like quite a few of us and they gave us the brief and then they read the cast I was like it was I would have peed my pants Meryl <laughs> Streep Piers Brosnan, Colin Firth, Stellan Skarsgård, then then Amanda Seyfried, yes. and uh, it, it all just came to me. And also, um, uh, Julie Walters, which is a who is an English actress, and she's she's actually from Birmingham, which is where I'm from in England. And she plays one of them, Meryl's best friends. Yeah, yeah. She to me is a, a wonderful actress, and I, I sort of grew up watching her in all her films. So that's really cool. I was, oh, and then you find out you're filming in Greece. Oh my god, yeah. how horrible! Oh, I know. It's such a tough job. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, but you sing, you're a singer too. Yeah, yeah. Um, there was a, a singing and an acting audition involved in that, and um, I do like to sing. And I, um, I played the role of um, uh, Lisa Houseman in Dirty Dancing on the West End. And, but she uh, obviously iconically has a bad voice, so I always used to joke maybe it's because I did a bad singing audition. They were like, she'll be great for the role. <laughs> and the girl in the movie was so annoying. I don't think she got like any work after that because it was. Oh, really? Oh my god, yeah. 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 But that um, was it for her. Yeah, she did a good job, but yeah, you're right. So maybe maybe that's why I got that one. Cause like, so you did that and then you did Burn the Floor, right? Uh huh, did Burn the Floor, where I met um, Sasha, um, who is now my boyfriend. And okay, love story, you and Sasha, you met at Burn the Floor, or when uh -huh. did you fall in love? Um, it was it was actually a good few years after Burn the Floor. I, I joined and I had a boyfriend and he and he had a girlfriend and we were happily in our relationships for like um, a year, year, year or two, and then um, everything sort of changed. Like our circumstances changed, and he was actually we were he was single. We, we were both still in Burn the Floor, and he was just about to go to um, all about timing. Yeah, he was just about to go to, we were both single at this point, he was just about to go to, off to Dancing with the Stars and I thought, I, you know, I, I was like, oh, I kind of like you, you know, you're a really good guy and I've known you for a while now and, and then it's sort of, sort of like, the last three months of being in Burn the Floor, we got really close and I thought, I, I can't get too attached because he's now going to go off to do Dancing with the Stars and it just so happened that, that we kind of said, oh, we should maybe try and we like each other enough. You we did the long try. distance. Yeah, we should try it. And it worked really well because when I visited him, they, um, Dance with Stars asked me to interview and then we ended up And boom, she's in this chair. Yeah, I and now I'm here. And you did Dance with the Stars India. Uh huh. Okay, you have to tell me about this. this so, it's so different, you know, because you go over there and they have like, um, they have concepts. So each dance, you have to go from the beginning of the story to the middle and to because the end. Because that's Bollywood and that's how every film exactly. is done. Ah, exactly. I like that. Even to the point where if, if you're dancing to a song sang by a female, the female partner will sing, and if it's sang by a male, the male partner will sing. So you actually sing you were the lip, words. You were singing or were you lip syncing with someone? Mm -hmm. Lip syncing, lip syncing. So you're dancing with yes. the girl. Oh, okay. it's crazy. And my dance was that uh, I didn't actually lip sync because the song I was dancing to was sung by a male. But that meant my partner was singing to me as we were dancing. And Did you ever want to laugh a little? Well, it's so normal to them. He was giving it everything and he did such a great job. And it, and it really, really works for them. Like, it, it's totally normal and it works so well. But for me, I was wondering whether I might might have a giggle in the middle of it but it t turned out that it just i was so in the moment that it was like he was singing to me you know and oh it my was gosh, quite romantic it. yeah it was really really good fun i secretly want to be in a bollywood film oh you, you really should they um it's massive massive industry over there and it's so much fun yeah. and the people were great like they could not do enough for you it was so a really what great has experience. been your career highlight up to this point because you're so young and you have so much more to do but what's been your most favorite moment ever. I don't know. I, I, I just I feel really lucky. I've had the best career, in, in my opinion, just because I've had so much fun and it is what I want to do and I do love doing it. Um, I loved Mamma Mia. I, yeah. I thought that was that was an unexpected highlight. Um, Dancing with the Stars obviously is a, is the dream job. It's a dream come true. Big one. Um, yeah, and I and I, I get to perform on national TV every week with my boyfriend and. Some Are you guys friends. gonna be dancing together this season? Yes, I, I'm trying to think. Um, we're already dancing together a little bit um, for the upcoming numbers that we have. Okay. But yeah, we we will dance together this. So season. what can you tell us about this season? Um, well, I've had a couple of meetings and I've been. Um, a little fly on the wall and I know that there's 
the production and the management have massive, massive, massive plans for this season and they're really, um, there's not, there's not going to be any limits, they're going to go all out there in terms of... Go big or go home. Yeah, they're going to go big, I know for sure, it's going to be like effects here and like great explosions there and it's going to really, really go down with a bang, I know that for sure. And the, the pros, because they've all danced before, I mean sorry, the celebrities, they've all danced before. The bar better be like, bam. It, it's extreme. And I, I thought last season the um, celebrities, I was like, you can't get much better than that. Yeah. They were, the standard was was crazy good. But um, I've, I've watched a couple of, of their dances, you know, while I've been practicing and they're faultless already. Like. If you had to put your money on one couple to win, who are you going with? Um, I, I have a couple in mind who I've thought, wow, you know, watch that space and that's Apollo and Karina um, I mean I'm not sure I'd put my money because I haven't seen everybody else but um, I think that he's Apollo a, is a, he's a hard worker and his athleticism is oh yeah yeah and, but also for that measure Sean Johnson and Derek could be really really yeah. good too but I also feel you know Karina a lot of times her, she dances around her partners and they always look like they're trying to catch up or I think Apollo might actually be able oh, yeah. to be on that same level. I think so, yeah. I think so. I think Apollo might be like a bit of a JR. Yeah. Like, I really think so. Awesome. And anything you would like to say directly to camera to your fans? Ah, uh, yes. Um, I always have lots of love and, and, and grateful things to say to my fans because um, it really, really means a lot, especially to somebody like me who, um, who kind of needs that kind of love and, and I think that uh, it's great every comment that you um, that I get on Twitter and Facebook it really means a lot and thank you so much. Perfect well thank you so much for joining us. No worries. You of course will be able to catch Emma on Dancing with the Stars this season the all-star season. I'm Stuart Brazel thank you for joining us. Twitter at Dance Junkies TV, YouTube Dance Junkies TV, Dance Junkies TV all day every day. Bye. Bye.